ABC, thank you, Adam. Not the only media giant with major problems on its hands. CBS still caught in the middle of a vicious legal battle between Les Moonves and Sherry Redstone. With the Dow losing 413 points in the latest blow to the CBS chief, the Redstone family has filed a 66-page lawsuit that claims CBS had no legal right to strip the family of its special voting privileges. Charlie Gasparino, this one continues. Yeah, let me just get to a couple things on the markets because the markets took a huge beating today. The last time the markets traded off on Eurozone fears was in 2012, I believe. I traded off dramatically. Oh, Brexit. And, uh, well, I think that was a one-day thing when there was a long, drawn-out Eurozone implosion in the bond markets where uh, spreads widened between Treasuries and Eurozone debt. It had a lot of impact on U.S. mutual funds. Uh, remember John Corzine's fund, the MF Global, essentially imploded because of that, that action. Uh, I can go on and on. So remember, this thing is going to, okay, it went down 500 points. It's now, it's off, it's, it's, it's high, it's lows. This is going to have some impact on U.S. portfolios. All the major mutual funds and hedge funds went to, looking for yield bought some of this stuff. And if there's protracted problems with Italian debt, Spanish debt, you, the average person, are going to get hit. You should talk to your broker, you know, call up Fidelity, call up Vanguard, figure out how you're getting hit with that. So that's one thing. We should also point out that since Donald Trump uh, signed the tax bill, well, guess what? The Dow's been largely flat. There is a growing worry that this thing is going to produce the necessary bang for the buck in the economy. So just remember, that's another thing that's out there that's weighing on markets, that the proof isn't in the pudding yet, that, you know, corporate earnings haven't kicked in. There hasn't been much GDP growth. And by the way, there hasn't been significantly more GDP growth. GDP growth. If you don't get a three and a half handle on GDP, Liz, you're likely to get much higher deficits. Right spike in interest rates, and that could hurt the recovery. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's go into CVS and Moonves. You know, the latest Savo came today. I guess C uh, Moonves came out with their filing, following CVS's filing. And I, the, the impression I'm getting from talking with people around this, it's, it's like both sides are entrenched. They're ready for legal war. One of the, uh, and a long drawn out battle, one of the interesting things that came out of the CVS filings of the other, of, of, of most recently was essentially a, conf, a, a, a conf confirmation of, of our report that CVS, if it goes alone, if it gets out of this thing with, with national amusements, if it can break apart and dilute Sherry Redstone, that it is takeover bait. What CBS did was basically, basically confirmed what we reported, that there are a number of potential suitors interested in buying CBS as a standalone company. They like Les Moonves. They like what he's done there. They're, they want to buy this company. Verizon's at the top of the list, but there's a lot more. There could even be Silicon Valley interest. So that was in the CBS filings, uh, which is so fascinating. It's obvious that CBS and Viacom separately cannot survive. They may not be able to survive put together. CBS is clearly takeover bait right now well, if they can break up, break uh, off. Here's, here's what's really annoying. If you own CBS and watched it go from 50 to 60 to 68, right. 68, the annual high, and it's back down to 50 right now. You see, Both of these stocks are getting hammered. I think Viacom's off $10 You from see, its I think what... Sherry Redstone obviously wants to preserve her father's media empire. Yeah, well, she's doing okay. the opposite. Now, here's the reality, that the, the markets are saying this media empire doesn't deserve being preserved. Mm -hmm. Markets are essentially saying we need to break you guys up and sell. I mean, they're not going to survive together. That just the way everything is moving with cord cutting and the fact that people don't go to movies. When was the last time you went to the movies? I know you have Yesterday, kids. Yesterday. Okay. I went and oh. saw Deadpool 2, and it's hilarious okay. and awesome, I, see, and I but, love Ryan but you have, Reynolds. But you have, but you have of course you do. <laughs> Very good actor. <laughs> I, uh, yes. It's uh, rated R. What do you mean I have uh, kids? Yeah. Did you bring your kids to this? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, my, my mother brought us to my Deliverance, son. just so you know. <laughs> We had no idea. No that wonder. She thought it was. You are the way you and are. She thought it was this, you know, you know, she liked Burt, you know, uh, Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds and sure. John Voight and all them. She yeah. thought they were great actors. They are. Uh, they are. It's but, a great movie. It's a brilliant movie. It's a brilliant but movie. But, how old were you? Uh, um, I was, yeah, I was, I was young. That's why he's crazy. Um, uh, they also took me to all the Godfather movies, of course. But in, in any event, the, the point of the matter is people don't go to the movie theaters that much. So that kind of negates the long-term growth aspects, prospects of, 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 of Viacom, right? CBS is going to have its issues, too. It needs to be part of a bigger company. These companies will be bought separately. That's essentially what CBS put in its, its, uh, its, uh, its uh, response to one of the responses 
of the response of Viacom. By the way, it's going back and forth with responses yeah. now. Uh, so our report about CBS being takeover bait has been confirmed. If they win, they're going to be taken over. Question is, who's going to buy them? Is okay. it Silicon Valley? Is it Verizon? Is it someone else? 